All video used belongs to its respective owners and creators. I do not own any of the clips used. Any or all images and video have been used for the sole use of critique slash parody and are such protected under fair use. Please support the official release. Hey everybody, it's me, Mirabean, and welcome back to another video. So first off, can I just say thank you everyone so much for the overwhelming positivity on my last video. It makes me so happy to know that I can get some good amount of views without doing a Miraculous Ladybug video, and it really fills me with confidence on, you know, what comes next. So as I say that, let's go into a Miraculous video because it is the end of season two and it's time for season three. So these are my predictions, kind of, what I think is going to happen in season three and what we know is going to happen. So first off, the end of season two was pretty crazy, guys, but we'll get to that a bit later. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. First off, I think we got a lot of backstory of the Agrest family, you know, with Mrs. Um, Agrest or Amelie. And I think we're going to get a little more backstory and flashbacks with her. With her being alive. Because I'm not sure if she's alive. I'm assuming she's alive. But she looks kind of dead in the casket kind of thing. Plus, how did he get that much room under his house to even put her in? Secondly, I think that we they're going to show us more and tell us more about this, their relationship. Natalie and Mr. Agress look kind of friendly together, and that shows up in a lot of the episodes further towards the end of season two, which is kind of crazy, especially since his whole thing is about how he wants to, you know, save his wife. I, uh, I'm also thinking that we're going to get some more um, daddy-son time. That sounds a bit weird when I say it out loud, but I think we're going to get some more Adrian interaction with his father. I'm really hoping, and I think that's going to happen, maybe as a season finale for season three, where Adrian and where Mr. Aggress reveals to Adrian, like, his mother, what happened to her, maybe even the fact that he's Hawk Moth, because that's an identity reveal that I think is going to happen before the one that we all want to happen. Plus, it'd be nice for him to put Adrian first and actually get to know his son and his friends, etc. So, another thing that I think is going to happen, that I think we really need to talk about the elephant in the room here. Which, aside from Natalie, gets to gain some pretty good character development. Is Hawk Moth actually the good guy? Because if we take into account what happened to the Peacock Miraculous, and if she was actually the holder, what happened to her if she's dead or alive or in some sort of magical coma, and all he wants is to, like, save her from that, is that really such a bad thing to do? If he only talked with Ladybug and Chet Noir about his true intentions, maybe they would actually help him and give him their Miraculouses willingly. I mean, she's stuck in a freaking casket, guys, and it's due, I think, to the her using the Peacock Miraculous because he says, and we'll talk about this more later on, that it's broken. So, you know, maybe Hawk Moth is right to do what he's doing. Maybe not in the exact way he's doing it, but his motives are pretty good. And also, Natalie, I feel for you, girl, hon. You are in an awkward position. So, aside from the whole aggressed relationship with Natalie, possibly, which is kind of weird slash go f get it, girl, um, let's talk about the whole Hawk Moth thing. Like, the big Mayura, is that how you say it? Mayura? I can't pronounce things. Episode, which was kind of crazy. Especially the part, I think this is kind of overlooked, where he says that you can actually train or have experience to hold on to your transformations, like your superhero form, after you use your special power. So this indicates two things. First off, it means that Hawk Moth has had this for his miraculous for a very long time. He's experienced in using it. I think that this confirmed that he and possibly the Peacock Miraculous 
used were back in the day were like the superheroes, which the only thing I'm worried about is how come this isn't mentioned before. Also, I want to talk about how similar the peacock and the hawk moth, well, the moth miraculouses are. Because that's kind of crazy. I mean, if you think about it, Ladybug and Queen Bee's miraculous powers are very similar to each other. But, you know, the peacock and the moth are just kind of crazy. So I'm thinking that maybe they're meant as a pair, kind of like the Ladybug and um, the Cat Miraculous, except on a lesser note. So the whole Mayura's powers thing is very interesting, and I'm hoping we'll see it more, because I think it's better than the whole, you know, t you're in a bad mood, so I'm going to turn you into a monster. But it uses, I think, their sadness to create a protector, that's what I got from the episode, which is kind of interesting in the different ways that maybe the protector can form. So, you know, I'm getting a Sailor Moon vibe, honestly, guys. Like, a lot of these are sounding like plots and character, not character arcs, but story arcs from Sailor Moon. If you've seen that show, if you don't, I mean, what are you doing here? Go watch it now. What are you doing listening to a woman in her closet? Come on. So another, so what I was talking about earlier is that perhaps, aside from eating like cheese and macaroons, which kind of seems like uh, an opt out of doing something more creative, I maybe they can train, like do like some kind of special train to actually use their powers because there has to be a way to keep in their transformations after they use you know their special power because hawk moth said it was possible so i'm thinking that we might get some training montages which would be pretty interesting in my opinion also i'm just gonna put this out there right now i do not think we're gonna see any more Kwame transformed superheroes in the next season. I just don't think it's going to happen from what Marionette said in a previous episode. So the sickness that Natalie gets in this scene, I'm thinking, is what happened to Mrs. Agrest, a.k.a. Amelie? Emily? I can't, I don't speak French. That's not French, though. Anyway. I think that might be what happened to her. So I'm thinking more flashbacks slash, you know knowledge, just general exposition as to what happened previously to the events of Miraculous Ladybug as we know it. All right, guys, this is how, is, it is what you have been waiting for. The identity relationship end of season two kind of thing. So, this might be a little late, but spoilers ahead if you have not seen the latest episodes because it gets a bit crazy. So in the final episode, you know, there's a picnic and then Adrian has to go to a fancy gala. Oh no, that poor kid, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. But you know, there's kind of a moment between Adrian and Marionette. And I just want to, I want to, I, I don't know what to say because this has been something we've been kind of waiting for, but I also think that people may be getting their expectations a bit high for this like the results of this moment as though Marinette finally works up the nerve to you know do that oh my god she just kissed him oh my god she, she just oh my god she just did that and this is something that we've been waiting for forever the problem is Adrian is kind of dumb and I mean that in the nicest way possible everyone else thinks that is you know she finally confessed aka but we all know Adrian it's just a friendly kiss Guys, I mean, but yeah, look at his face after. He's just, uh, I don't think he's gonna get it. I think, you know, this is gonna kind of be blown over for season three, which kind of sucks, but really, I mean, good for you, Marionette. You finally worked up the nerve, but he's gonna be too tense to know it. Something else I want to talk about is also, I do not think, I'm calling it right now, that you're not gonna find out each other's identities in season three. Three, which is a very big problem. For the simple fact that in this season, you know, Nino and Alia know each other's identities. The entire township of Paris knows their identities. So there's two problems here. First off, we've shown they've shown us that Alia and Nino can be superheroes and know each other's identities, and it can work. 
Secondly, they've shown that the entire knowledge of Paris knows Chloe's identity, and it kind of works. There's only small consequences from that. Like, you know, when her parents get akumatized, you know, and he targets Chloe because he knows, like, who she is and her parents. So I see why, you know, public knowledge of their identities is a bad thing. I get that. But them knowing each other's identities, I don't understand why that might be a problem. Maybe if there's an akumatized victim that can make them confess or tell the truth about things, that might be an issue. But other than that, we've seen it work, even temporarily. It's kind of okay, and I think in the long run, it would mean more for them to be able to help each other and know their identities and be able to support each other like that then risking it for, like, maybe there could be a chance that this could go wrong. Instead of, we know that this could have a lot of positive effects. So, that's what I think is going to happen in Season 3. I know I didn't need reveal, but I do think their relationship is going to go from friends to maybe more than that. Maybe, probably at the end of the season, though. Just from, like, the slow progress and the fillers that Miraculous Ladybug has unfortunately become accustomed to when we have, you know, learned to expect that. Anyway, guys, in my next video, I'm going to talk about She-Ra and the Princesses of Power, which the review is out. It's out on November 13th. You should go watch that, as this is the end of the video. So let me know what you guys think of Miraculous Ladybug Season 3. If you're excited, it's supposed to be released early 2019, so I'm excited for that. So leave a comment down below. What do you think is going to happen in season three? And this is Mirror Bean, beaming out. Wait, no!